Benchmarks show how models perform relative to one another, but given so many of them, it's not always obvious which one to use. During the software development lifecycle, each phase will require different benchmarks to be applied. When you're starting a new project, it can be tempting to always reach for the top shelf in popularity, but you want to find a model that has a strong knowledge base to understand domain-specific business requirements. During the design phase, picking models with strong chain of thought and reasoning can help make solid architectural decisions. MMLU Pro is a benchmark that scores models by its ability to reason, and currently, OpenAI 01, GPT 4.5, Gemini 2.5, and the DeepSeek R1 671 billion model are all great options to help you with design and architecture. During the development phase, community-driven leaderboards like Chatbot Arena can show how well a model performs in the real world vetted by people who's actually using it. Currently, Chatbot Arena ranks Gemini 2.5 Pro, GPT-40, and Grok-3 as the highest rated models. Using standardized coding evaluations like Big Code Bench are helpful, but it's also good to try multiple models during this phase because a lot of benchmarks fail to capture what's favored by a lot of developers. For example, Cloud 3.7 Sonnet is still one of the biggest sought after models by coders, but many benchmarks fail to recognize it. For testing, look for benchmarks that measure proficiency in coding tasks and coding challenges. For example, Big Code Bench shows that Cloud 3.7 3.7, OpenAI 01, and the O3 Mini are one of the highest scoring models. Since tests often run in isolation, especially for writing unit tests, we can lean closer to coding benchmarks for this. Finally, in a deployment and review phase, you will need a model with a large context window since by this point, a large amount of code is filled out. Models like Gemini 2.5 Pro and GPT 4.1 have large context windows to play with. Multimodality is also an important feature to consider as you'll be copy and pasting screenshots, diagrams, and workflows. Benchmarks like MMMU are good for measuring multimodality. Currently, the O3 model, Gemini 2.5 Pro, and O4 Mini, and the O1 model score high on the MMMU benchmark. Now with a mix of benchmarks and experimenting with various models yourself, you can confidently find the most effective model inclined for the task at hand. It's good to always stay on top of new benchmarks, but also understand what it's trying to measure and to contextualize them into what you're trying to accomplish.